welcome to my latest YouTube tutorial. I was asked by a subscriber on a previous video um, to do voiceovers instead of the music. So here goes, first attempt at a voiceover, I hope you like. And um, before I do any uh, project life layout, I do like to kind of plan what I'm doing roughly just so I know what images I've got to use from that week. Um, in this one, I'm using the uh, March Studio Calico kit uh, as I'm a little behind on um, my kind of layouts. I print all the images using my Canon selfie and use the pick frame app to create the 3x4 images that you see here. jar is all my uh, little banners, um, any kind of tags, um, that I get in kits, anything that I've printed out and cut out from online. Um, the one with the three on, obviously it was on the 3rd of March, so I wanted to use that somewhere, I wasn't really sure where, and also I just couldn't decide what to put there. That good eats card fitted quite well, um, again that was off the internet, it's probably on my Pinterest board, I can't remember exactly where from, uh, just one of the free downloads. That worked quite well with that image as we were at uh, one of our favourite restaurants. As you can see I was kind of playing around a little bit with where it went. It was starting to annoy me because when I originally printed it out months ago I obviously didn't cut it in a very straight line. So when I tried to line it up with the cards um, it just wasn't really playing ball. I, I kind of put up with it. Um, as you'll see later on I have another go at that one. That card on the left with all the numbers um, I thought fitted really well with my birthday week. It's kind of counting down the years as I'm feeling a little bit older now. That good stuff banner that I'm just gluing down there is from the February Studio Calico kit which fitted quite well as we were in our favourite restaurant. As you can see, I'm still trying to do something with that good eats card just from where it's either not straight or I just don't like the look of it. Um, I did rip it off, but I was a bit limited as to where I could place it because it did kind of damage the card underneath. Um, I rounded the corners again to kind of try and make the fit it a little bit better and make it look a bit more coherent. The tape uh, washy idea was just to kind of try and cover up the line or kind of make the images blend a little bit more. If in Project Life something isn't working, don't be afraid to just try another card or start again. In this kit that I'm using, it came with a little roller stamp with days of the week on, morning, afternoon, night um, and Sundays on there twice for some reason. All I did on there was just use my stays on black ink. I uh, inked up the morning stamp and the night stamp and just put it on the corresponding pictures little bit of journaling onto that card, uh, which is what I originally wanted to do, hence why I moved it to make more room, um, just about what restaurant we went to. Using the Amy Tangerine Ready Set Go Roller Date Stamp, I chose the Oh Hello sentiment and lined up um, the date of my birthday and inked up, again using my stays on ink, and then pressed it down as hard as I could and then pressed it on to the Today card. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can make it out, uh, the 2015 for some reason did I must not have put, put enough pressure on the right hand side so I did just bring it out screen slightly kind of closer to me to uh, re-ink which I wouldn't recommend doing to try and line it up but luckily it was quite successful. As I took a couple of minutes to review the layout I just knew that I just wasn't happy with that card after all the faff and I literally went straight back to my original idea that I had right at the beginning when I put that card there using that green banner with the three on as well. I just folded it over slightly to check the uh, positioning of it. Also looked on my phone how to spell chimichangas, the restaurant, because I really didn't have a clue. So just to make sure I'd got it right, I pulled it up on my phone, copied it out, just saying uh, that we went there for, for tea, and that using my roller sticky tape, just placed it back on. Had a little bit of a play with what I could do with that tab, but decided against it in the end. With Project Life you get a bit of a sense of a layout whether you love it or essentially hate it. This one I just felt there was something a little missing. I used those little stars from again the March Studio Calico kit. I tried to put it by the kind of 30 mark but I just didn't, that looked a bit random so just placing it at the top kind of complemented the uh, blue of the tag. Decided that I was pretty happy with it so I started to put it in the page protectors 
when I put it in, Star's quite big, so it's scratched. So I took it out and placed it on the top of the page protector just to stop it kind of poking through. As I was putting my spread into the page protectors, I just felt it was missing some kind of three dimension. So I got the little gold sequins to pick up on the three that's already printed on the tag. Stapled one of those on using my mini attacher and also to complement the other side of the layout, uh, a black sequin and a gold sequin. And then that was finally my spread finished. Mm -hmm.